That destructive windstorm that hit Vancouver Island in spring has taken months to clean up, from damaged homes to vehicles uh, to trees knocked down on roads and lawns. A Comox Valley woman was devastated when her favorite tree came crashing down in the storm, and she was determined it would not end up as firewood. As CTV's Gord Kerbis shows us tonight, she salvaged it and has transformed it into a work of art. He has spent the past 15 years perfecting the art of chainsaw carving, turning trees into eagles, bears, and mythical creatures. Kevin Lewis thought he'd carved it all until he and his partner received a special request from a Comox woman. Most of the times you get the, the bear requests or eagles, and it's just so fun to go out of your normal realm. The pair grabbed their chainsaws and headed to Knoll Avenue to the home of Noring Wells, where a large balsam tree was diseased and fell victim to the March windstorms. I knew it was, it was going to go at some point, but I wasn't ready to let go of it. But when those hurricane force winds came, the, I lost the healthy tree beside it. But rather than bring the tree down completely, Wells had a plan that included a mermaid. I wanted a totem pole of some sort, and I didn't want to be too Disney-esque. I didn't want a bear or an eagle, but I wanted to be a seaside theme. Not a lot of people know about it or have done it. There's, there is a few carvers that do that over the years. And uh, but it surprises me that not more people do that. In the three days it took to carve the mermaid, Wells's front yard was the center of the neighborhood's attention. Well, when you start drawing in crowds, it, make, it just sort of helps to validate what you're doing and that people really enjoy what you're doing as well, you know. It's fabulous, it's, yeah. Thank you. I think that's a wonderful idea. And people are continuing to flock by to see the tall mermaid and two previous carvings Lewis did in another of Wells' stumps. I'm an attraction and I had some Comox people stopping by and saying thanks for making our town more beautiful. So it worked out well. What a great thing. To Both Wells and Lewis believe other homeowners may want to copy the idea when they're stumped on what to do with problem trees in their yards. And a lot of times it's almost the, the same price to get a carving done as it would be to uh, get the stump removed. The carving couple will be heading out next week to Cloverdale in Alberta for shows. The mermaid, though, will be staying rooted on Wells' front lawn for non-stop showings. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Comox.